and welcome to episode 246 and look at this all the old crew back together again guys Yay. first time in two years and two months we've been back together because of covid and you know logistics and but anyway we're back together guys four days fishing we've got here and we're at the Boathouse Fisheries up in Shropshire, Bridge, is Bridge North, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Bridge North, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, four days fishing ahead of us, guys. Not that else to say, really, is there? No, well, none of us are actually fishing yet. We're all still mid set up, so uh, let's go fishing. Let's go fishing. That way, Kate. Right well, guys, so that's it. We're not well I'll say that's it, we're not actually fishing yet. The rods are at the moment just they're just balancing on the pod and just to get ready, so I've still got a bit of bit of sorting out to do yet guys, but um but basically the bivvies are you know, home is sorted and organised. Uh I I'm in a peg called the Sluice or the Sluices, something like that. Um, basically, as you come in the gate to the fishery, it's the second one along to the right. Uh, during the course of this video, we will go around and have a look at everyone's swims. Oh, I mean, we've done the intro in uh, the double where uh, Math and Simon are fishing from. Uh, to my left, I've got Lee. And then kind of opposite me I've got Andy and Dave. And then there's another peg dead opposite, which is uh, the Bayless swim, which he's uh, in at the moment. But, uh, so, yeah, so I'm going to crack on, I think, the uh, one, one of the other Bayliffs has uh, already been round and kind of gone round to everyone's swim and said, you know, kind of, kind of that direction and that amount of wraps is the best area to go in everyone's respective swims but um but just to make sure i am going to get the marker rod out and just do a bit of leading around anyway just to make sure so so i am going to crack on do that first guys and then um once i'm happy with the spots that i've you know i've been kind of advised to head towards then uh then we'll uh, sort out actually getting some rigs in the water. And pretty much that's what everyone's doing now. They're either marking up or or uh, casting out at the moment. Right, anyway guys, well, I'm going to crack on because, uh, you know, I want to get fishing. <laughs> hey guys, so uh, I was just in the middle of doing a bit of marker up work. And... A scene over in yonder distance. Simon is playing a fish. First, first run of the session to anyone. <laughs> no pressure, Simon. dip my lines probably because there's a bit of weed about one thing that I've found myself with the old marking up that I've just been doing the little bit I've just been doing there's a fair bit of weed in this lake guys so uh must be close must be close
nearly close. Giving them a little bit of a run around in close in. There we go, you can see the uh, boiler water where the fish is now. It's a very quiet area. There's no background noise or anything around here guys. Very peaceful and idyllic. A little bit close. Oh, there we go. That's that's looking fairly close in. And again, that just might be the uh, the angle we're looking at. I'll stop filming here because I haven't actually got my rods out yet. So we'll. Uh, We'll run round and see if we can see the fish going in the net if I can get round there in time. Go on, zoom in, you'll be fine. Right guys, first fish, off the mark. Rods have literally been in five minutes. Um, double yellow wafter, fishing in about four feet of water. Um, nine wraps, and I've had a lovely, scaly, beauty. And what was the weight, was it 15.7? Yeah, some of that one, eh? 15.7. What a beauty. A cracking little fish, that one. Look up, Si. Yeah, right, nice one. Back. Nice. Well done, mate. Beauty, First thank blood. you very much. First blood to you. It's got his nose down, hasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna wet me, aren't you, little thing? Smoothly done. <laughs> Come on, girl. Yeah. There she goes. Oh, oh. she got you. Soaking <laughs> for your effort. Happy days. Right, guys, so back in my swim now and carry on with this marker at work. If this bloody fly would. I've got one fly that's just annoying the hell out of me. Oh. Right, if I can crack on without this flight annoying me, right, I think I'd managed to find one spot before Simon got his fish. Oh, this flight is really doing my head in. Right, so we are clipped up at the moment. I've got as far as um, clipping up what I think was a clear spot. Check that. So, pull back. Yes. Clear. But it's only only takes a couple of feet of pulling back and it's straight into weed, so certainly on that spot the casting is gonna have to be crack on. Right, that's it. There is a bit of weed there, but that is definitely what I've just picked up on the retrieve after I've uh, pulled out of that clear spot. 
right, so we definitely have one clear spot, guys. Right, let's put this one on the wrap sticks and see how far out it is. Because fish into the clip on this session is definitely going to be key. Otherwise, you're just going to be in weed otherwise. Okay, so that's a nice easy wrap number to remember. Ten. Nice round number. Right, I'm going to leave the clip where it is at the moment at 10 wraps and then just aim for a, a new spot and then just see how we go at the same wrap range. If we can fish all the rods to the same distance that I make it nice and easy. And where that's gone, that is weed, so that theory isn't going to work. This is the sort of weed we're dealing with. That kind of grassy kind of, I don't know what the actual name of this weed is guys, but it's that kind of real grassy kind of weed. Right. We will stick at 10 wraps. We'll just try a different spot before we start changing actual ranges. Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, 10 wraps again, but then it pulls into weed, God. Right, so I've just got to remember which particular pointy tree to aim at. Hopefully. Right, aim for this pointy tree. Yes, clear. Right. Especially for spotting later on. That is going to keep things nice and easy. Right, so we've found the two open water spots and then what I'm going to do on one rod is fish down the margins down to my left. I can't fish down to the margins to my white because um, there's a platform which is on, on the end of the platform. It's the tap for the actual sluice. So, um... I don't want to fish that way because if any fish go that way it's just going to be a hazard that uh, gangway so uh, right looks like 10 wraps it is then guys right let's have a little cast down the margins not that I can cast right down the margins because of how much the trees are sticking out but we'll try at a bit of an angle just to see Not too far, otherwise I'll be in Lee's swim. We don't want that, do we, Lee? No, I bloody don't. Oh, that's good. 
found some clear patches, patches have you? There we go. So down the weed, down the down the weed, down the margins. Definitely is not going to be an issue. Right, we have our spots. Let's get the rods out. Right, so just to get fishing quick, I have got three PVA bags already made up, guys. Uh, this was PVA bags made up from a previous session, which would have been can't even remember now but but the but the main thing about these rigs is that they're uh, micro barbed hook hooks uh, that is one of the rules of this boathouse fishery is that it's a it's a micro barbed hook only rule so um because I know these are micro barbed from a previous session that I had made up these weren't actually made up for this session they were just still in my uh, PVA bucket so, so that's nice and convenient so we'll start off with these and then I think later on in the session we'll probably change to a uh, Ronnie Riggs or Summit so if we do happen to land in weed you know you know that what after the les drops down the boom is probably just gonna lay neatly onto weed but just to get fish in we'll get these PV bags out for now Right, so that's it in guys. First rod finally ready to go out. And this one, as I've said after a dummy marking up, this one's literally just gonna be a bit of a bit of a pub chuck down the margins. I say it's based on a pub chuck. Alex the bailiff when he came round did actually say there's a bit of a gap in the bushes between me and Lee. He said a previous angler had used a baiting pole to put the baiting pole through that gap then cast the line over it then to kind of pull the baiting pole back so it pulls your line in put the rig in it then ship the pole back out I probably will do that sometime later on in the session when I'm a bit more organized and set up but for now I'm going to just cast roughly in that general direction just I'd say a bit of a pub chuck The other day at home, something else I did, because I knew there was going to be an element of weed with this session because of Facebook posts and what have you guys. I, um, I've just, I spent uh, the other, a day, you know, two days ago at home, and I've put all new line on my reels. I've spooled up with the uh, Fox soft steel camo Normally I use a 16 pound, but because there is an element of weed, I've uh, gone up to the 18 pound for this uh, spool up. Just so that's a bit more safer abrasion resistance, you know, to cope with any potential heavier weed problems. Right, second rod going out. This is middle rod towards the bailiff swim. And guys, third and final rod about to go out to complete my fishing setup. Uh, this one is aiming between the Bailey swim and the swim where Dave is fishing, and I'm aiming for a particular kind of high point of a particular tree to find that clear spot that I found at 10 wraps.
Hi right, guys, so pretty quick into the session, and I mean pretty quick, as in like half an hour the rods have been out, and I've had my first I've had my first fish. I say just chucked out some PVA bags just to get fishing quickly. Oh, I'm gonna struggle with this. I'm suffering with a bit of a bad back at the moment, guys. I haven't mentioned it to anyone yet. <laughs> he's, he's not said it. I, no, 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 I haven't heard it for the last nah. 30 seconds no. anyway. But here we go guys, I think it's gonna, there. there we go, I'm gonna put some more over Elite. Yep. The fish, not me. <laughs> oh, here we go guys, solid PVA bag. I had a yellow hook bait on, I'm not sure what the hook bait is, more than likely seafood. But uh, yeah, come on, straighten out your tail, straighten out your tail, thank you. Yeah. First fish on my account here at uh, Boathouse Fisheries, £20, 2 ounces. Well done, Chris. Well done, Chris. Thank you very much. Well done. And thank you very much for your assistance, Lee. Cause Always I, here to help. Yeah, because, you know, my, An amazing my, assistant. because my back is hurting. Yes, I know. <laughs> is it? But I, um, I'm not joking either, guys. No. I've, li I've literally just taken some painkillers, guys. Have you? You haven't yeah. mentioned that either. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get it back, guys. Give her a pinky poos. Hold on, hold on. Right guys, so that is rather good that we have got the blank out of the way rather quickly. So um, PVA bags was going to be the technique I was just going to um, start the session on just to kind of, you know, just a, a get fishing quick technique with the bags I'd already had tied up. I was planning, and I probably still might do it yet, but... Um, the technique I was going to plan to, because I know there's a bit of weed in here, was uh, changing to the Ronnie rigs, you know, obviously on lead clip system. So just in case anything did snag up, you know, you can drop the lead and what have you with the lead clip rigs. But because we have caught a fish so quickly on the PVA bags, I'm going to stick with it for a little while just to see what happens. So... Because I only had three rigs made up, I'm just making up some more guys, so that's one. Like I said, it's just simple tactics, inline lead, Gemini stem, three inches of supple braid, size six wide gape hook, micro barbed as per fishery rules. And then a yellow dumbbell wafter, which is the seafood. And then as we've just seen, all that goes into a solid PVA bag. So, I have got some bait with me. I've brought five kilos of um, frozen seafood boilies. And I know you don't often see me using frozen boilies, but again... That is one of the fishery rules. If you bring your own boilies, they do sell bait on site, their own their own house bait and particle and pellets. Um, but if you're going to use boilies, your own boilies, they have to be um, frozen and not shelf life. So that's not a bad thing. So I brought five kilos of boilies with me. And then I also bought a bag of the fisheries maize as well again which is another one of the fisheries rules if you're going to use particle then it has to be the the house bait it, it's it's more of just a safety point of um kind of a safety stand really just so that um so that the fishery know any particle that you're using that they know that they've prepared it and it is and it is prepared properly some of you might say, oh, it's only so that the fishery make, can make money on it. It's not, because they're basically making it and selling it at cost price. I've got five kilos of maize, and it was five quid, so a pound a kilo. They're not making any money on that. It's just purely so that they know any particle getting used is prepared properly, so... But, uh... So, in total, with the boilies and maize that I've bought when I arrived, I've got 10 kilos of bait. 
whether I'm going to use all that bait, I don't know yet. Like I said, obviously we're just feeling the way into the session with solid PV bags. But um, I'll probably put out some of the maize and then I might pepper the area later on with um, with some boilies. Like I said, I've still got four kilos of the boilies frozen in my cool box here. And then I took a kilo out and put it into my uh, air dry bag this morning before I left the house. So I'll probably put some of that out in a little while. You know, just to kind of uh, bait up the kind of the, the whole of my area. And then we'll concentrate the feed on the spots that I'm fishing with, with the maize. So that is the plan, but for now, I ain't going to put any bait out just yet. I'm going to carry on with just the bag so far and see how we go. I mean, it, it just might have been a, a fluky hungry fish I just picked up, so uh, if nothing happens later on, any more fish, then I'll stop putting out some of the some of the maize onto the spots and like I said, pepper the area with with the boilies that I've brought with me. Right, anyway guys, well, I'm going to crack on, so because I've still got a bit of tidying up within my bivvy to do yet. But at least if any fish do come along, I now have three more bags made up. A oh! Just had another bit of a bleepy there, guys. Just a line bite, possibly. But yes, but if anything does happen, we now have three bags ready to go. Well, anyway, guys, well, I'll leave it there. Hopefully, I can catch up with you soon. Right guys, so as I said earlier, I have brought some boilies to bait up with as long as, as well as maize, which I've now took out the bag that they dropped it off to me in and put it in a bucket of water just to make sure it stays soft and doesn't go hard and whatnot. But, um, so I've already got a kilo of the frozen boilies defrosted in my air, but in my air dry bag. So, because nothing else has happened so far during the since I've had that first fish, I'm now basically just going to pepper my uh, area with this kilo of boilies. I'm going to put the whole kilo out, but I'm basically just going to spread them across my, my whole area that I'm fishing just to kind of, you know, hopefully get the fish into my area and, you know, grubbing around and on the feed so right. right let's get some of these out even had to dry buy myself a new air dry bag because i don't normally use frozen boilies so uh yeah even had to invest in a new air dry bag the new quarter compact one 15 quid basically for an onion bag carb tax <laughs> Simon, say hello to the viewers. Hello everybody. <laughs> what are you doing Christopher? I am putting some bait out because I haven't put any bait out up to now so I'm going to start off with... Bear lives in again look. Good on him, good lad. Oh. 
flavour loop. I'm putting as many of these boilies on the floor as I'm actually out in the lake. Right guys, so going into the first evening, I thought I'd have a walk round and say hello to all the fellas, seeing, it, seeing we're spread out around the lake. So first stop is Math. So how's the doing? fishing going so far, Math? Well, um, there's two fish out, neither of them are mine. Well, three if you want to include uh, Lee's, <laughs> Lee's don't count. one pounder. Um, <laughs> It's it's a tremendous lake. I really I really like it to be honest, and I think the uh, staff are pretty good. They've been good with us. Yeah. Um, I know the bailiffs had two fish this, today. He's just had one earlier. So. Yeah. Uh, who's the other? Oh, the one that's been coming around to us. Um, Alex. Alex. Yeah. He's been great. He's been sort of advising us on the spots. Yeah. He's been. Yeah. Well, we we're currently on this location here. I mean, our advice was fish nine wraps out during the day, but as the evening comes in, push it out to twelve wraps. Um, uh, and to allow the fish to come in for some reason, I, you know, it, it's we're just going to try that tonight, see how it goes, and work on those tactics. I did start off with a pop up on my left hand rod, but I changed over to bottom bait maize, uh, match the hatch sort of thing. I've got a, a few spodfuls of maize out on my left hand rod, 11, 11 wraps out <coughs> heading towards the bailiff swim, and I'm, uh, and I'm hoping that one's going to rip off to be honest with you because. I'm quite confident with that yeah. one, a little bit of bait the, around the it. The fish I had, I wasn't even sure what hook bait, because I already had three bags made up in a bucket that had been there for a few weeks. I couldn't even remember what was in no, them. No, it was only once I'd un when I unhooked a fish, it was like, oh, it's a, it's, it's a yellow wafter. Exactly, yeah. well, I've, <laughs> I've got a yellow pop-up on my right rod, I've got a white pop-up on the middle rod, and bottom bait, uh, two maize on a hair. So, we're trying, we'll see, we'll see how we go. There's plenty of fish out in front of mm. us, they keep moving, but they, they do seem to be a little bit further out than the, the nine that we're at. So Probably get them when you get move out onto the 12 then. That's that beep there, and there's Dave. That's oh, Dave is it? Oh, yeah. are you still linked to I'm his alarm? I'm still alarms? linked to, yeah, because when one time, one time um, Dave had a problem with his receiver, and we uh, tuned in my receiver to it, and I just haven't detuned it yet. So oh, right. every time he's, one of his reels rips off or he picks it up, I, I get the beep on it. Well, at least you know uh, when and he has got a fish. Yeah, I know when he's got one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Anyway, right, let's move round to uh, Simon then. How's it going, mate? Hiya. It's going quite well, mate. I've had one. Um, 15 and a half pounds, I think it was. Is it 15? Oh, I, I think I called it 16 and after someone else. Alright. Oh, no. Is it? Well, I'm not for a pound. Well, what's, a, what's a pound between what's a friends? Pound between friends, mate. Yeah, just not, I'm not fishing far out, nine wraps. Just solid bag. Just at the. I've got a weed bed just in front of me, about six wraps. So I'm fishing just at the back of the weed bed. So I've had one up to now, just on a solid bag, little yellow um, TNT double wafter. And to be fair, this right end margin. There's a cracking little margin, yeah, isn't it? I've got one down there, mate, as well. And there's a lovely little area it's with stepping stones that you can go out onto. And I've already been out there and put a little bit of bait out there. Yeah, them stepping stones are brilliant for baiting up to, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, the last one's a little bit wobbly, so you've got to be a bit careful. Well, if you're going to fall off, let me know, because I want to film that yeah. to get 250 quid from you being framed. Yeah, I don't want to be falling in, do I, really? <laughs> but that's where we're at at the minute. I mean, I'm not going to, I know Matt's talking about going a little bit further out for this evening, but I'm going to stay close in, I think. I've had one, so um, I'm going to stay on them spots at nine wraps and maybe put a little bit of bait in tomorrow, but I'm just fishing solid bags at the minute. And that's as far as I've got. Lovely dovely. Right, well, good luck for the night. I'm going to go around and see the other lads and then I'm going to like me barbecue when I get back. Good evening. Ciao for now. Ciao for now. There we go. The reason why this place is called the Boathouse, guys.
Well, then, guys, now I move around to uh, Andy's swim where Dave is as well. Mm. How's oh. it going around here, guys? We're doing very well around here. Thank you very much. We've had, nice we've and had quiet till you came round. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we've had a few carp, but we're keeping it very low key. Yeah. Very low key. I've it's so low key. I haven't even seen you take them out the water. No. Well, you were shouting and waving your arms around when you caught yours, weren't you? So everyone could see. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> out of my swim. Yeah. Yeah. But no, we keep when we done the peg draw, guys, me and Dave did swap swap swims because Dave wanted to be next to Andy, didn't you? So. Only so I could cook his tea. Yeah. So 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 it's your own fault, really. You didn't get that fish. Yeah. I, did, I didn't even want to swap, but because you wanted to swap, I was just doing you a favour. <laughs> you see how he edits it for his own video? Yeah. It's a skill. <laughs> it is a skill. <clears throat> but anyway, on to the fishing. So, yeah. how, how is it going? Quiet. Baits out. Rebaited. Rechecked. Rechucked. Have you um put a lot of bait out? No, not tonight. So you haven't done a mass Not as bait. much as you. <laughs> mass Debate. A couple of, yeah. <laughs> Are you a masturbator or a cunning linguist? <laughs> I've put a kilo out. Is that a mass beating? That's a lot, yeah. It's quite a bit, isn't it? I put a couple of pouches. I don't know what that weighs. Depends on your pouch. Yeah. Yeah, I've put a, yeah, I've put a kilo <clears throat> boilies out so far. Mine a catapult range like yours. So. Yeah. Are you you got a clear spot? You found a nice spot. Very small clear spots. Really weedy, isn't it? Mm. <coughs> but then again, it it shows your true ability in fishing if you can fish in weed and still catch. Yeah. Can we better go? Yeah. Come on. Like 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 I've already done. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know. Yeah. You know, it's a bit too bad to search out those spots and and catch. It you know it takes it takes watercraft and skill and. Uh, That's right. He, need, he needs his head brace, doesn't he? he does, yeah. his head from expanding. Yeah. Well, no, you've done well. You've both done well. Simon was quicker than you, of course. Yeah, but mine's bigger. But his was better looking. <laughs> well, anyway, well, I'll leave it there, guys. Hopefully you get something in the night. Let's hope so. Right, bye. See ya. Right, good evening guys. So we have not long just got back from our walk around chatting to everyone around the lake. And the rods are back out. I kind of left it a bit late chatting to everyone so we're kind of in a bit of a rush to get the rods back out so we haven't filmed them going back out. But they are just back out literally just now so we're back on the same spot. 10 wraps, 10 wraps. Left hand rod down the, down the margin. Right, I'm going to call it a night there. I'm going to put the camera away and then um, I'm going to get my barbecue on because I haven't even eaten yet. As you can probably tell, I am shriveling up here. So I need to get some food on. So hopefully I'll get to see you in the night, guys. So, oh well, hopefully see you in the night. If not, I'll see you in the morning. Right, good night. Hi right, guys, wasn't expecting this. I'd have literally half hour again after the rod's going out but uh it just had a bit of rain i was just contemplating oh shall i like my barbecue shall i not because it's raining because i'm starving as i said earlier i'm shriveling up but uh but yeah right hand rod oh don't be a bugger don't be a bugger but right hand rod just absolutely melted off guys with this 20 pound and 10 ounce fish. How about that then guys? Two fish on the bank, or oh, second fish on the bank. Can't see properly because this fish has just splashed water all over my glasses, but uh, yeah, how about that? Uh, I'll flip around for you. There we go. How about that? All right. Alright, Charlotte's feet is ready to go back, so I've got to do a few steals yet. So that's all we're going to get to see of that. So let me get the steals done and then I can get her back. 
Well, good morning guys. Ugh. And I've been woken up by Lee this morning. Yes, lovely. Just gone five o'clock in the morning. Middle rod, PVA bag, 18 pound, dead on, common. Boat house fishery. Nice start, nice wake up call. Lovely jovely. Yes. Nice fun mate. Cheers mate. Right, let's get her back because she's been out a bit so. Well, oh, good morning guys. And um, what a lovely sunny morning it is. And thank God for that because it rained last night. So much so that I couldn't even have me barbecue for me tea last night so I had to make do with some hot dogs for me tea. But action wise, uh, for me, nothing happened during the night. I had a nice peaceful sleep. And then as we saw, got woken up by Lee at half past five this morning for his fish. Uh, Simon's had a walk around not long ago. Uh, he's had nothing since, but he did say math. But half past six this morning, had a screaming run. Um, unfortunately, low, it got um, locked up in the weed and then eventually had a hook pull. So... Uh, so unfortunately my first chance at catching a fish has uh, gone away. Not heard anything from Andy or Dave opposite yet, so um and uh we've got a Facebook Messenger group chat so if anyone's catching anything it's it's going on that and now no one's posted anything so I can only presume they haven't had anything yet. Right I'm going to have some breakfast and then, and then we'll resort the rods on some fresh PVA bags and, and hook baits and what have you. Right, well, I'm going to crack on doing that. I'll see you in a bit, guys. What are you doing, Lily? Spotting. Lovely jovely. Yes I am. <laughs> What's in your mix mate? Can you zoom in on it? Maze. Oh we can, let's have a little look see. Maze, pigeon conditioner, a few crushed boilies, not many. I don't know if you can see any of them in there, but... Oh, all the fishery bait apart from the boilies. That's the one. Where'd you get the maize from? Someone great, I bet. He was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you are a silly ninny. Where the twist in your line, then? Oh, is that because someone stood behind you putting you off? Probably, yeah. Wouldn't be the first time, would it? Right, guys, so I've decided now's the time to uh, put a bit of bait out and actually concentrate some bait on the spots that I'm fishing. Well, I say it, I'm, I'm doing that on two rods. The left hand rod that's down the margins, I'm still going to buddy fish kind of willy-nilly so um we saw yesterday i'll i put a spread of boilies out to kind of uh oh uh, nice ass crack andy <laughs> and he's just mooned me behind the camera but um yeah so we saw yesterday i put a spread of boilies out to kind of pepper the general area around fishing so this but baiting up is now obviously to concentrate some some bait onto the actual spots where I, where the rigs are going to be they are going to be, so as you can probably see, I haven't got the rods back out at the moment yet. So I'm only baiting up with maize. I bought some of the fishery maize, as I said yesterday. So yeah, I'm just going to bait up on them two spots. I've got my marker float out on my right hand rod. There's already a marker stick out, what the fishery have put up there to, 
to mark a clear spot which I've been fishing to. So, uh, so yeah, so I'm just going to put some of this maze actually on them, on them spots now, guys. Let's get the right side of the spot. That would be a good start. Money. That was the right hand rod I just spotted. A little bit of a spawn failure there guys. I've kind of just dropped a spawn full of bait in the margins. <laughs> no my luck, the swans are gonna come round and find out now when we rods are back out. I think we should be right to be fair, I think it's deep enough that the swans won't find it. <laughs> And another spawn failure. That one didn't even open. Oh, good old spawns. They open when you don't want them to and then don't open when you do want them to. There we go, it's opened that time. Right, anyway guys, well, I'm gonna crack on, put a few more of these out. And then we'll get the rods back out. Yeah, we're the last <laughs> two to go, aren't we? Ooh, that's more like it. See, the more you have it, it'll come up in water, mate. Ooh, that's more like it, come on. Sponsored by Strongbow. <laughs> Good shot as well with the boathouse in the background. There's not much I can do, I think he's in the weed. Uh, I thought he kited on it. I thought he went right, yeah, an yeah. angle. So it's not like you've got six people watching. No, there's no pressure. Watching. Yeah. No, no, no pressure whatsoever. This is not a drone hovering up on you. No, I'll, I'll put it away. <laughs> I may have to leave, just release this one off, let it go. You can get the boat in a minute if you want. I'll we'll just put it on the rod for it, on the uh, yeah, alarm for a bit. Yeah, try to put it on the rest for a minute. It'll yeah. Keep clear. That's what I did this morning, Matt. It, it kited, didn't it? It caught yeah. the weed and it was 20 yards past to the right, wasn't it? Give it a load of slack, put your bobbing back on and just leave yeah. it for five minutes. Finish off a... Uh... <laughs> and get your cigarette. <laughs> 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 so, this is the here we go then guys, giving the fish a let do its own thing, it swam up the weed bed and it's on the move again. But the 
the amount of weed I sold, though, there is a chance it may go into another weed bed. Yeah, I know. That's just the key in it. Try, just try and keep it moving so it doesn't go into a weed bed. Who's ringing? Me. Happy work. It's Tyson. Yeah, Matt. Let me old Rod so you can speak to him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, Tyson. <laughs> Oh, it's got me the rod. Yeah. Someone want to bring that one in for me? Do you want me to bring it in or just open the bale Yeah, I'll just bring it in. Try and bring it in? Yeah, just bring it in. That big bunch of weeds picks it up, hasn't it? You've gone right over it, mate. Oh, you nip one through one. Yeah. Oh, it's in the yeah. We've got it on the move. No, oh, you're all right. Well, I'll come over you now. Yeah. Got a team working We're for here, guys. Sand. This was <laughs> Do you want to step all this out of rods? I'm trying to get it into yours. You're going to wipe them. You're, you're on top of it. You should walk around here. You should be on the other side of his rod. Am I on top of it? You, yeah. should move. you need to no, move. No, I'm under. I'm under. Yeah, under. Get, get the rod down low. Yeah, low, low. Sorry. Put your glasses on, babe. It's going to wipe his all my glasses. out now. It's a big ball away from it. Blows. Oh, that's just a weed. Yeah. It's giving you a good fight, that ball of weed. Where's the fish? Lift your rod up. Oh, the fish must be really close. Now. Yeah, the ball of weed's here. The fish must be there. What fish? There it is. Yeah, yeah. Can you, can you see that on your film? On your camera? That's a gun of yours. Here you go, Matthew. Uh, yeah. yeah. Just walk off. Don't worry about the weed, Matt. Just that's it. Look back. back. That's, it. that's it. Keep doing that, Matt. Keep it going. That's looking good as well. Nice little fish, there, isn't it? And she's nice. in. She's yours. She's in. There we go. Persistence and patience, guys. Yeah. Persistence and patience. Scaly banger. Scaly banger. Scaly banger. Okay. Here we go, my first fish off the lake, and I'm absolutely over the moon with it. It's a 20 pound, and it was caught on a naked chod, of all things, which was advised by the bailiff, so I'm well pleased with that. So it always pays to listen to what you're told, doesn't it? So, thank you very much, Mr. Fish. Well chuffed with you. Now let's get her back in as quickly as possible. And thank you. guys so as you might be able to tell the rods still aren't actually out yet because earlier on when I said I was going to put the rods back out after I'd put that bait in what we actually did was uh we all wound in and went round to the double swim where Maff and Simon are fishing and had a bit of a bit of a social seeing we're all spread out around the lake we can't obviously can't be social when we're spread out around the lake so we uh so we all wound in and went round to um to the double which is obviously the biggest swim on the lake and uh, yeah then obviously we saw Math catch one so um, so yeah so now the rods are finally just about to go back out it's kind of mid-afternoon now so the so uh, yeah so basically my swim has been rested for a little while now which probably isn't a bad thing to be fair so uh, PVA bags are ready I've just uh, injected some liquid into these PVA bags to um, give them a bit of a boost. Still fishing the same, seafood dumbbell wafters, and I've just injected some seafood liquid into them just to give them a bit of a give them a bit of a li instant sort of liquid attraction boost. So all I've got to do, I've got to put the, the two rods that I'm putting out onto open water around the wrap sticks. And then the left hand rod will still be kind of 
pub chucked round to the left somewhere. Right, anyway, all right, let's crack on and get that done. Right, first recast. Right guys, rod number three, is that? Just the rod I'm gonna underarm swing down the margins. That's it guys, all rods are out and we're fishing again. Thanks for that. Hopefully I'll get a fish within half an hour because the two fish I've caught so far have all come within around half hour mark of rods being recast. Half hour countdown starts from now. Alright guys, so half an hour has come and gone and then a few more half hours has come and gone again since then as well. Uh, I have had a couple of liners, but no pickups as yet. Not like yesterday where I had those two fish within like that half hour of rods going out. But today is a lot warmer, a lot sunnier. Um, don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can just about see them as swim. I've got a bag of dog biscuits out, and um, a lot of the fish are on the surface and just cruising around. So. Um, so I have had a go at flicking some dog biscuits out just to see if anything would um, take a dog biscuit. But I think they are just cruising and sunbathing. And to be fair, there's probably a bit too much ripple on the water for for any decent float of fish in any way. But, um, Literally as soon as I stop recording, I've got to run. <laughs> Looks like a washing line. Oh, don't put a weed on that. only just cooked as well.
this big fish this mate. Oh! Well guys, that is about as close as you can get to the net you can get without actually netting it. I said didn't I it looked only just up, didn't I? Yeah. And you know what the worst thing is? It was a big fish. Yeah, I think that was a 30 plus. And there's me rig in the bushes as well. Oh well. These things happen guys. Here we go then guys, about 10 minutes has passed since I had that unfortunate hook pull. That rod is back out, but uh, I just come up to uh, say hello to Lily. And his right hand rod's just uh, pulled away. Is that your back there just falling off? Yeah. Oh no. Do you want, do you want me to try and it for you? <laughs> Do you want me to actually net your one? Yes, please. If I... Uh, let's just not say anything about it yet, because it'll probably come off no more, won't you? if it'll have a second of gold in its bottom lip. I wouldn't mind if it does. It's a good fish. Another common. Yeah. Mine wasn't the common. You are trying to knock mine off. Yeah. You can net some life in there. Hey, I, I managed to I managed to net leave one. <laughs> Just. And here we go guys, after that little battle. Yeah. This is the a result. little battle as well for a little fish, only 15 pound. Was it, did I say 15 12, weren't it? 15 12, yeah. Yeah, not the biggest in here by any means, but a lovely fish, more than welcome. Nice golden colours. Yeah, off the right hand rod this time on a combi rig. So, yeah, happy days off the mark on that side as well now. So, second fish for me. Chris would have had three. Never mind. Yeah. Never mind, you'll get another one, mate. They're all over you. Yeah. Right, let's get her back. Right, good evening guys. As you can probably tell by the sunset behind me, we are slowly losing the light a little bit. I'm just gonna redo one rod for going into this evening. Um, obviously when I lost that fish earlier on, the right hand rod got redone. The left hand rod's only down the margins where there's no weed, so I'm not particularly worried about the left hand rod, you know, fishing in clear spots because 
Oh no, it is. There's no weed in the margins. It's just all up there. But when I read on my rods this afternoon, this rod, my middle rod, landed a little bit more left of the little marker stick that's out there than what I wanted to. So I just thought I'd redo this one just for peace of mind going into the night. But as it goes, when I wound it in, it was on a clear spot anyway, so I needn't worry to be fair anyway. But um, just before I've uh, filmed this this bit and putting this rod out, I'll put some more boilies out. Again, an another another kilo, but again spread out between the two spots at ten wraps and you know the rod that's down here on the margin. So, so you know bit more bait and hopefully a bit more fish right let's get this rod up there because I know there's fish out there because I can see the little marker stick wobbling about so there's definitely fish out there pretty much landed right on the marker stick. <laughs> That's probably about as close as to that stick as I've got up to now. Even though normally up to now I've been aiming just slightly to the right of it. But that was pretty much hitting the stick that one. <laughs> That's a nice fish. Nice common. And you earned off the top, yeah. Every every ounce of that fish, mate. Yeah, it was hard one. Yeah, well done. All I can say is well done. Yeah. Shine that in Dave's eye some more. <laughs> <laughs> I, I look Chinese at the best of times. Oh that's that, that's perfect, that that's better. Yeah, nice fish off the top. And now I think you've got the biggest fish out of any of us. Nice. Well don't tell him that. I've never hit the last of it. Drink time. You know what that means, don't you? Yep. It means. <laughs> it means <laughs> only uh -oh. Andy left the car. <laughs> yeah. Change that. Is, is this feeling a bit um, deja vu ish? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> right, good morning, guys. <coughs> and uh, yeah, quite night all round for us all last night. Everyone's up now and awake and. Um, yeah, the last fish to come out last night was Dave Common. That was around nine o'clock last night. So uh, yeah, so I think everyone had a good night's sleep last night. As you can see, I've wound my rods in because I've uh, just been and had a shower. So they got for a fishery. They have got some bloody good toilet and shower facilities here. So. Um, so yeah, it makes a change to barely have, have a have a nice shower. Oh, when you when you're in there, actually it looks like you're in in a house in someone's bathroom. It's that nice in there, so uh, that does make a change. But yeah, anyway, so rods are about to go back out. Uh, I don't think I'm going to put any more bait out at the moment yet today, unless any more fish start coming along, because. As we've seen up to now, so far between the three rods during this session, I've put out two kilos of boilies and a bit of hemp as well. Uh, not hemp, maize. That I've got with me, so actually on the spot. So, uh, so unless any more fish start coming along to show me that they're feeding, I'm not going to put any more bait out yet today. Even though I've got another kilo in the air dry bag of boilies ready to go. Still amazing this bucket down here behind me. So. But right, anyway, let's waffle. Let's get some fresh PVA bags made up. Get them out in the lake. Guys, 
rod number two going out. This is the one to the little stick that's out in the lake of Mimarka. Right guys, that rod number three about to go out. Uh, as you'd have seen up to now so far, the left hand rod has just been getting pub chucked sort of down the margin somewhere because nothing's come off of that area um, and both fish I have had have come out at the 10 wrap ranges that I'm fishing I'm going to put this one out to um, the 10 wrap range as well because I've got that little stick out in the lake I'm going to uh, aim just to the left of it I, I landed to the left of it more by accident yesterday and I thought I might not be clear to the left, but it actually turned out it was. So, um, so now, because I know it is clear out there, I'm going to put this rod to the left of the stick, and yeah, just basically put all three rods on the range that you know that I've caught from so far. So, right, let's just hope I get this cast right now, so I don't end up crossing lines. <laughs> that would kind of be the stupid thing I would normally do. two foot to the left of where I've got my middle rod. Couldn't have it any more on the spot if I'd have tried. Well guys, I just happened to look across the lake and it would look like Dave is into a fish. I saw him chucking out a floater earlier on, so perhaps it's on the old floater rod again. I didn't actually see him to pick the, get the take, so I'm not sure if it's on one of his bottom boat rods or on his floater rod. At the moment, I'm guessing by the way he's holding the rod, I'm saying it might be might be a bit locked up in weed at the moment. Just saw the splash of the fish. I'll pan out a little bit more. Float a rod. I might have to get me float a rod at myself, guys. And I can see Dave's floater. So it is definitely floater fishing again.
definitely got clogged up in the weed looking yeah there we go in the net lovely jovely Hey guys, so, so far today has been a quiet day, it's been really hot and sunny, so kind of we've all just been sheltering in the shade, no one's caught anything yet today, uh, well apart from the one Dave had this morning, no one's had nothing since the one Dave had first thing this morning, but, uh, I've just been Flicking a few of the old dog biscuits out again, see if I can get them fishing on the surface. And I am just getting the odd one or two cup coming up and having a go at them now. It has been hard work having a go with the floaters because um, up to now all the floaters I've been putting out, the ducks have seen them going out and they've just then come in and mullered them. So, um, so yeah, so I've not really had a chance to get the fish feeding because the ducks have been getting to it first so uh but the ducks have buggered off and a few fish are just starting to come in and have a go on the floaters now so um so yeah i think it i might get the floater rod out in a minute fish on Oh, awesome! Oh, it's off. Oh no! Oh, it's in your way! <laughs> oh dear me. Well, that's how it go, guys. That's my fourth run. Two landed, two lost. And that is actually a cut off. And as we can see, I've got a nice little bit of weed on the end of my rig so I can only presume the weed has uh, been enough to um, cut my line there guys oh. so uh, yeah as I said earlier in the blog I had stepped up my normal line poundage from 16 pound spooled up for this session with 18 pound line and um, well there you go obviously some of the weed is still coarse enough to still cut through 18 pound line Hey ho, that's where it goes sometimes. Good evening guys, you can probably tell it's evening time by the low sun in the sky over there. But, uh, so after I lost that fish earlier on, I wound in the other two rods and then went for a social over the other side. Math come round, Lee come round and uh, no, because uh, Andy and Dave are over the other side on their own basically. So. So, uh, you know, so we went round and had a bit of a social. So, uh, so yeah, so that was a few hours ago and now uh, only just getting the rods back out now. So, um, so that obviously, with no footage up to, you know, since that lost fish, no one's caught anything. It's been a bit of a tough session. I think this sunny weather isn't helping really with, uh, you know, I think the, the fish have just been kind of sunbathing, basically, but, uh, but anyway, right, let's get the rigs back out on the bottom, and hopefully we can start hooking them again. number two guys uh, going back out towards the little stick that's out there that's marking the clear spot hopefully I can get 
on or just to the right of the stick with a bit of crosswind. inches to the right of the stick so I'm happy with that. Right, third and final rod going out for this evening guys. This is going to go out to the 10 wrap spot as well. This is going to go try and aim it to as closest to that stick again but to the left of it. Obviously all, all the like four runs now and they've all come from that 10 wrap range so uh, so I think I've pretty much ab abandoned this margin spot I was fishing now to be fair but uh, but yeah I can see the stick clearly at the moment mainly because I'm injecting a bit of oil and liquid into my PVA bag so uh, at the moment it's made a nice flat spot where I have to cast so while the flat spot is there and I can see what I'm doing I'll not hang about. <laughs> That's it guys, we are now fishing again for this evening, unless any fishy action happens, that's it, the rods won't get touched to the morning. Right guys, so earlier on I did say I wouldn't put any more bait out unless I had a fish. Well, yes, it broke me off, but I, I did hook a fish, so, so, because I know there was fish feeding on the spot, obviously to have that pick up so I am going to rebate my area now so again another kilo of boilies the seafood from Hinders so I mean there's plenty of fish in here big enough fish so a kilo of boilies over my over my spots to be fair isn't a lot of bait, although some of you may think so if you have to pay for it. Obviously I'm in the privileged position where I don't have to pay for bait, so uh So yeah, so another kilo is gonna go out guys. Although most of them fell short to be fair of my spot, but it's still in front of me, which is the main thing. That was more like on target. guys I was just about to sit down and put me barbecue on and what not looked across the lake and Dave is in Dave been doing a bit of floater fishing and he's in I also was sorry for the cut dodgy camera work guys uh, yeah I was also doing a bit of floater fishing myself but um I thought that's it, I've had a, I've had enough. Put the rod down, I thought, right, let's get the barbecue ready. Looked up and Dave is in over, over, over to the side. So, uh, like I say, I've only just put my rods back out as we've just seen, so we'll watch Dave net it. And as you can see, Maff is over there, so... If you want to see what this fish looks like, you'll have to watch Math's version of this blog because uh, 
Math does a, have his camera over there, so Math will be filming this fish close up. As long as it goes in the net, that is. Of which it has. Well done, Dave. Nice one. Third fish for Dave. Right, like I said, if you want to see that fish, you just have to tune in to Math's blog, guys. Uh, good evening, guys, and as you can tell by the darkness, we are on the very last dregs of daylight. Just had a nice barbecue, so got a nice full belly, so um, yeah, it's time to just sit back and chill for the rest of the night. The breeze is practically dropped off now so we've got a nice flat lake as you can see so uh, yeah it's just going to be a nice chilled evening for the rest of the night and hopefully these things down here scream off but um but I won't hold me breath because up to now no one has had a night bite all the bites we've had so far have all been during daylight hours so I won't hold me breath for a night bike, guys, but, um, yeah, you never know, but, alright, so, on that, probably see you in the morning, guys, Good night. I've had a double take, but one was about five ounces. <laughs> I think this one's really small too. I'm not going to break any records with this. I don't think. Got one stuck in weed, mate. <laughs> Got a pasty in the net and one stuck in weed. Double take. <laughs> situation as the other day guys it's got locked up in weed and uh my have had to basically put the rod down and kind of let the fish do its own thing to try and free itself from the weed is it moving yeah yeah it's free Nice one. <laughs> well, there you go. Second fish of the second. Well, there you go. Second fish of the session. Another 20 pound, four ounce carp. I caught this one on my good old trusty Hinders XO. And Chris, you'll back me up on that, won't you? Yeah, I saw it so. Yeah, so again, that I, I always use that bait. It, it never fails me really, to be honest. But yeah, this this is a nice little fish. I'm more than chuffed with it. Let's get her back in and let's crack on. Let's have another one. But yeah, 220s in a session. I'm happy with that. Very, very happy with that. Good morning guys, uh, back in my swim now after seeing Math's early morning fish. Uh, 
as per the rest of the night. It's been a quiet night through the hours of darkness, so it just seems like this fishery just isn't a nighttime water, or certainly hasn't been for us while we've been here anyway. So, um, yeah, I haven't touched my rods yet today. We are due some uh, quite heavy rain in a couple of hours' time, so in due course I will be pulling my rods in to get them recast on fresh PVA bags, obviously with fresh baits and all that in the next hour or so, but uh, I'm just waiting an hour or so yet because my arthritis in my, in my back is playing up a bit and I'm in a bit of agony and a bit of stiffness at the moment, so I've just I've just had some painkillers, so I'm just waiting for them to kick in so I can uh, not be in so much pain and have a bit more movement back. As soon as my painkillers have kicked in, I'm going to bring the rods in and then uh, get the fresh PV bags on and out there. And then once that's done, I think that's going to be it. I think we're all going to be bivy bound until this evening once this rain that's due is in. So. Uh, But thankfully, the wind has done a bit of a 180. It was kind of blowing from my right to my left most of the time while we've been here. It's kind of blowing more of a kind of a half past seven to a half past two kind of direction now across the lake. So if this rain does come in, it means we've kind of got it coming over our backs. Well, well certainly over mine and Lee's backs. They'll have it in their faces <laughs> over there. But, yeah, I'm just going to... Oh. That's Lee receiver. <laughs> I've got Lee's receiver just down here from when he went to the loop. But, uh, but, uh, but yeah, so, yeah, I'm just going to wait, give it half, well, half hour at least, maybe an hour. Just wait for me pink it is to kick in and then I'll redo the rods. So, um, I'll, I won't bother filming them going back out I filmed the, the rods going at enough times up to now so when they have been redone I'll just let you know that they have been and uh, yeah but for now I need to sit down give me back some support and just chill for a, a little while yet What you got in your hands there, Lee? A couple of little PVA bags. Oh, let's have a little zoom in on them. Oh, they look some pretty little bags you got there, mate. Yeah. Doing the trick. Well, I say doing the trick. It's done the trick for two. It's lost me two. So <laughs> maybe it's not doing the trick. But no. Nice tiny little PVA bags. Couples are ready to go out. Hopefully, touch wood. If I get another one, that wasn't, or, your, that wasn't your wood. <laughs> or they're there, ready for the evening. I just realised I've got my glasses on. Old age. God, you don't see me moaning about old age. Oh God! If only the viewers were here this week. All we've heard non-stop is he's back. Oh, me back. Oh, me back. You're back hurting, Chris. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
You lost it. Got another one. I had to fucking bully it because it was going around the corner of the sluice. Right and guys, just making another PVA bag up now to get that rod back out. So, um, as you would have just seen, unfortunately, I lost that fish to a hook pull. Um, like I said, the one downside that my swim has, it has the, like the sluice gate on the walkway on the right hand side of my swim. And on the end of kind of that walkway is basically a kind of a, a brick column. And the fish was about to go round that sort of brick column. So I um, thought I was either going to lose the fish with a line scraping up against that sort of brickwork. So I basically had to kind of bully it to try and get it round that sluice to get it kind of this side of that sluice gate and unfortunately with the kind of amount of pull I had to put on it to kind of get the fish this side of it I lost it anyway just you know it was just a little bit too much pressure I think but you know I would have lost it anyway if I hadn't have tried to bully it so it's one of them cases, unfortunately, if you're damned if you do and damned if you don't, so... Right, let's get it back out on the spot. <laughs> right, good afternoon, guys. we got a bit of weather in at the moment, and I've just had a little bit of a... bit of a, uh, bit of a... on the left-hand rod, so, um... I'm not sure if it's a line or a fish trying to pick up my rig, but... Just watching it at the moment in case it develops into a run so we're just gonna watch it for a second and if it does it again I'm gonna hit it I've got a feeling it might just have been a liner though guys but, uh, but we'll, we'll stick with it for a minute just to see if it does develop into anything and guys so that uh, little bleepy ad on the left hand rod never actually developed into anything so um yeah so I, I can only presume it was just a liner as I've said on numerous occasions during this blog it is very weedy out there so line lay on this venue probably isn't very good so the chances of any fish picking up your line between the rig and the rod are quite high so that's more than likely what had just happened so when the rain has eased off a bit I will go and reset the bobbin drop it back down a little bit well I'll tell you what guys I've got to admire Dave's determination because as you can probably see it is still raining it's been lashing it down pretty much since about lunchtime. It's now gone five o'clock. And Dave has been out the whole time in the rain, floater fishing. Because he's had all, all four of his fish on the floaters so far. <laughs> and even though it's still raining, he's still having a go for the fish on the floaters. Rain or shine. You can't knock that kind of determination, guys. <laughs> and poor old Andy over there. Still the only one not to have a fish during this session. <clears throat> and so far, still never put a fish in any of my blogs. Uh, Andy is a bloody good angler, guys. He's a very, very good angler, but I just think my camera just jinx, jinxes him on the, on the socials. So, I don't know what Andy has to do to put a fish in my blogs, guys, but he bloody tries, I can tell you that. And as you can probably see as well, Andy's also having to go on the floaters. 
trying everything now because we've got the rest of today and then we've got to pack up tomorrow morning to be off the lake so uh, yeah we're just trying everything now <laughs> right then guys so the rain has finally broken for a little bit so a little bit earlier in the day that I've been doing for the last few days but I'm going to get the rods in now and get them rechucked for the night on fresh PVA bags. During the course of the afternoon while I was busy bound I've tied up four uh, new PVA bags. Uh, the only difference is I've, I've tied up brand new uh, hook links to go on on the four PVA bags that I've tied up. All the rigs that I've been using up to now for uh, these few days have been so far with the hooks are just starting to kind of slightly lose their kind of edge off the point a little bit. It was still sharp, but um, but yeah, I thought, you know, going in to the final night, you know, four brand new hook links, brand new hooks, obviously. So uh, hopefully if I do get any more pickups, I'm not going to have any more hook pulls or, you know, the last hook pull, you know, I couldn't do nothing about because of how much I had to bully it that we've seen already I don't like to use the word bully but you know to yeah you know what I mean guys but uh so yeah so yeah while there's a break in the rain I'm gonna get the rods in get them re-wrapped up oh did we see that guys <laughs> but, um yeah so like I said there is some more rain due in in about an hour or so so while there's a break in the rain you know, PVA's a nightmare to work with in the rain anyway, so, uh... Right, yeah, anyway, that's enough waffle. I'm gonna get these in, get them back out straight away. Right, guys, as you can probably tell, the rain is coming down again. Already got two rods out. I'm um, like this, because I'm hiding my PVA bag under the porch of the do of, of the uh, busy. I was gonna say duvet, then. Why was I gonna say that? Anyway, yeah, so I'm hiding my PVA bag under the porch of the bivvy, so, uh, yeah, as you can tell, the rain is coming down again heavy, so I'm going to be really quick. This is the third and final bag to get out, so, uh, yeah, hopefully I can get this out before it, out before it, uh, before it melts. went down with a solid splash so I think it made it out there in one piece but I am getting rather wet here now. <laughs> and guys I just got a call from Lee in the pouring rain so I'm a bit wet thanks Lee. That's alright mate any time. Yes after having nothing all day eventually this little one slipped up. I'm not gonna even bother weighing it she's I don't know Mid-double. Yeah, mid-double, mid -double. I'd say. But lovely looking fish for the future. Third fish for me. Oh! oh. And she's giving me a soak in. Ah. <laughs> One last look. Yeah, I'm soaked as well now. Oh well, I thought you'd get it for catching fish. Yeah. yeah, right, let's get her back. Nice one, mate, well done. Cool. At least you're landing yours. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've lost two, haven't I? So. Hi. Hey, good evening, guys. And as you can tell from the light levels, we are on the very last dregs of daylight. And it's only literally just not long finished uh, raining, to be fair. It's uh, yeah, been a bit of a, a wet, bivy bound day, unfortunately, due to the weather. So. Um, but as we saw earlier on, managed to get the three rods done just in time, sort of, before the kind of the a little gap in the rain. And um, since then, nothing's happened. No bleeps or no liners. Nothing. Um, I haven't put any more bait out today. Uh, 
Although I did have that run earlier on, you know, you know the one we lost because I had to bully it. You know, up to now, three kilos of boilies have gone out over these four, three days. Well, you know, going into the fourth night. Um, about half a bucket of me maize that I bought from the fishery has, um, has gone out on the spots as well. I think, what was that, on day one or day two I put that out? I lost track now, but... Uh, but yeah, you know, with only one bite today, I haven't bothered with putting no more bait up today. So, you know, I still had another kilo what I'd had defrosted I'd put into my air dry bag last night. I'd probably just be taking that back home and refreezing it, to be fair. But, um, yeah, I, I didn't feel the need. There was any need to put any more bait out, to be fair, guys. So, uh... So, uh, yeah, so that's it going into last night and I really, really ain't going to hold my breath. As we've seen so far during this video, guys, all the bites and catches have all been during daylight hours. I'm certainly not going to hold my breath for the last night, guys. So, um, but I really want Andy to catch a fish, guys. As we've seen in all the social videos up to now, at the, you know, the dice just haven't rolled for Andy on any of these sessions and, uh, you know, we've all caught now, you know, Dave's had four, Lee's had three, Matt's had two, I've had two, Simon's had one, you know, so we've all had multiple catches, if you want to call two multiple, but, uh, but you know, I could have had the chance to have had five fish if, you know, if the, if the cards had been in my favour, but. Hey ho, that's the way it goes. But yeah, you know, I'm I'm really praying to be fair for Andy to catch one, guys, because you know it's <laughs> you know how many more socials does he have to have with us with uh bef before he's gonna catch? It's, you know, we, we keep joking about it, saying you know at least he's consistent, but but you know. <laughs> It would be ideal if everyone on the session could catch, but, uh, but well, anyway, I'm going to leave it there, guys. I've well, good morning, guys. And, yeah, you guessed it. Nothing happened in the night. This definitely is not a night water. So, yeah. That's it, this is the final day. Uh, and we've got precisely three hours left before we um, have to be off the lake. We have to be off the lake by 10am. Next party's due on at 12am, so they allow that couple of hours crossover for the, uh, you know, for the staff to, you know, sort things out and whatnot if they need to. But, yeah, so basically, after I film this bit, it's going to be the slow pack up of everything else. So, uh, so I would imagine the rods will probably be out for about another two hours yet, maximum. Only a couple of minutes ago, I was saying I'm not going to hold my breath for any fish, but uh, I've just looked out across the lake. Dave's playing a fish. Let's loosen that. Oh no, he's lost it. Oh no! Alright guys, I've sat doing some packing up. I heard an alarm doing an absolute one tone, huh? Looked up again and Dave's into a fish, so he's had a second crack at the whip of having the last fish of the session between us. And I'd say possibly by the weight he's holding the rod and not pulling. I'm having a guess the fish is locked up in weed. Which has pretty much been the story of this 
session. Not that there's anything wrong with weed, you know. When you go to a weedy venue, you've got to uh, adapt and overcome and tap into your angling skills to learn how to fish and weed. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But when they do get locked up in weed, then you need to know how to deal with it. Yes, definitely. So it looks like Dave's going to rest the rod now and hopefully the, swim, the fish swims up all by itself. So I'll stop filming for now and then I'll keep an eye on proceedings and when I see him pick up the rod, I'll come back to you guys. And guys, so just looking back at Dave, I think about, I don't know if I've missed anything because mid-pack up at the moment, but uh, I don't think that uh, snagged up fish come to anything. I've, I've certainly not seen him playing a fish and as I can see now, all his rods are on the ground, so... Uh, yeah, so it looks like that didn't come to anything, that fish. Well, talk about leaving it to the last minute, guys, but Andy is in. There we go. Come on, Andy. Get it in. Get it in. Get it in. Get it in. So here we are at last, after so many blogs of Andy blanking, he has finally, finally caught his fish on camera and not only has he caught his first fish, he's kicked our asses with a weight as well. Coming in at what Andy? 27 pounds. And what did you catch it on mate? It was a cell, topped with a, an essential cell yellow pop-up. Right, nice one. Mate, your perseverance <coughs> is amazing and I'm so <laughs> pleased. Well, well done. I was, uh, I was resigning and coming as a guest next time. I want the big mouth, you look at the fish. <laughs> big mouth's holding the fish. Yeah, well, I would have said that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nice one, Andy. I, yeah, I even Chris. wound in my rods to come and see this for Bless you. Bless your little cotton socks. Out of how many socials we've had... Do you know what? I can't remember. I was talking to the bailiff before. Is it six? It, it, it's a good few socials yeah. we've had, and you've certainly taken your time. Well, oh. we <laughs> the best things are worth waiting for, aren't they? They are, mate. Well done. Thank you it, very much. And I think this is going to be it. The last fish of the blog. Yeah, it smells a bit chatty, isn't it? Look at the other side, the sound might be a bit nicer. Ooh. I think it is. <coughs> no. A little look. At least you won't be covered in slime in the pub. No, I've got, got clothes to change into. Sharper carper. Oh, sorry, Andy. You're alright. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. Thanks boys, another top social. Yeah. Can't wait for the next one now, I'm all excited. That's one. My phone. Brilliant. Chris. Da, da, da. Oh. And here we are, following the, uh, the uh, greater spotted bear in the woods. You're a very rare animal this. You don't see these very often. It's, uh, what we call the uh, the common name is the uh, the great nut knuckle dragger. <laughs> uh, he's uh, just leaving his environment, looking for food. <laughs> uh, we'll uh, we'll follow this beast. <laughs> Right, that's it then guys. It's all over. Four days has come to a conclusion. Been a good social, well, been a, we've been a bit spread out, but we've been as social as we can, haven't we lads? Yeah, 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 yeah. But once again, it's been another brilliant social, guys. Fantastic. And this time, we've all caught. Yay! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. With uh, yeah. Andy finally managing it at the 11th hour and 59 minutes. Yeah, <laughs> but, And the best fish as well, white boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Anyway guys, it's been a brilliant social. Yep. Great to meet up with you all again lads. Yeah, I knew yeah, mate. I knew yeah. you guys. Roll on the next one whenever that'll be.
Well, it's not Soon, as long. Hopefully. Yeah. yeah. Me and Math are actually meeting up again a week Friday, a week from today, aren't we, Math? That's it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The YouTube blogger social. Anyway, till then, guys. Thanks for watching. Tight lines. Tight lines, guys. Tight lines, guys. Yeah.